All right, what's up, everybody? Wait, I got honey on my face. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode two of Building Muscle in College. Today is chest and today is push day. Uh, I just had my first meal. Three pieces of toast with peanut butter and honey, and we're finishing up the cinnamon toast crunch um, protein shake right now. We're gonna open up this thing real quick. We are we're in Deuteronomy 17, and then. Me and Jake are gonna go lift. So, see y'all in like an hour or two. All right, peep Deuteronomy 17. We ready? So, I'm only gonna take bits and parts to talk about. But, we see here, <clears throat> God is talking about some different rules or laws that he has for the Israelites when they go into the promised land. One of the things he tells them is this. If a man or woman living among you in one of the towns the Lord gives you is found doing evil in the eyes of the Lord your God in violation of his covenant, and contrary to my command, has worshipped other gods, bowing down to them, or to the sun, or the moon, or the stars in the sky, and this has been brought to your attention, then you must investigate it thoroughly. If it is true, and it has been proved that this detestable thing has been done in Israel, take the man or woman who has done this evil deed to your city gate and stone that person to death. On the testimony of two or three witnesses, a person is to be put to death. But no one is to be put to death on the testimony of only one witness. The hands of the witnesses must be the first in putting that person to death. And then the hands of all the people. You must purge the evil from among you. Now, this is Old Testament. Not that this doesn't apply, but the reason that we don't go stoning people that worship other gods and stuff anymore is because Jesus died for those people already. They have Jesus took that punishment. But these people were evil, and they were they were wicked, and they didn't do what God commanded them to do. And when you have one bad apple, it ruins the whole bunch, right? So, that's God's reasoning, obviously. He doesn't just want to just kill people. So, if we look at what the study Bible says that I'm reading, it's got some little context in the bottom. It says, A person was not put to death on the testimony of only one witness. On the witness of two or three, a person could be condemned, and then sentenced to death by stoning. The condemned person would be taken outside the city gates, and the witnesses would be the first to throw heavy stones down on him or her. Bystanders would then pelt the dying person with stones. This system would purge the evil by putting idolaters to death. At the same time, it would protect the rights of accused persons in two ways. First, by requiring several witnesses. It would prevent any angry individual from giving a false testimony. Second, by requiring the accusers to throw the first stones, it would make them think twice about accusing unjustly because they would be personally responsible for finishing what they had started. So that makes a lot of sense, right? You don't want to just, they don't, God didn't want some guy to be like, I'm so mad at that guy, I'm going to accuse him and then we're all going to go stone him to death. He wanted to make sure that whatever they were doing was wrong and so he wanted several witnesses to account that. <clears throat> the point of this, I would say, the most important thing you need to take from this part is the very last sentence. You must purge the evil from among you. If there's something that you're doing that's sinful and you know it in your heart, if there's people doing things that are sinful around you, you must purge that evil. you got to come to them and let them know, hey, you've got to repent. You're doing this and you shouldn't be doing that. If it's you, you need to repent. You need to go, Lord, I notice what I'm doing and I must stop. I repent, Father, and help me through this. Lead me. Show me what to do through your scripture and just work in me, Father. That's what I've got for you guys. But that's just the short little part of Deuteronomy 17. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm just studying the entire Bible and I'm in Deuteronomy right now. I'm doing it slow. I love it, though. All right, now we're actually going to go get chest in a minute, so bye. All right, folks, we're going to get some words of encouragement for today's lift. Kaysen. Hey, I need some words of encouragement, bro. Get me hyped for the gym. Let's go. All right. I got you, bro. All I right. got you. I'm listening. Let's hear it. Don't don't be weak today, all right? Uh-huh. You're open the gym for so much time. Yeah, you only got so much so much time to do what you gotta do. Right. So, you know, take care of business while you're okay. in there. Okay. Take care of business. That's what we're doing today, boys. Let's go take care of business, baby! So we got 185 AMRAP. Um, last time we did it for two or three. I think it was three. So we'll shoot for five. We'll see how that goes. Just trying to get my bench up. I haven't hit 225 yet. Don't ask why. But uh, probably because I try to keep my butt down and bench like a normal person does. And most people like to, you know, shoot their legs up and say they can bench 225. So yeah, 
but keeping that butt down, 185, see what we can get. Hey, I want y'all to know, Herschelis, top dog, all right? Hey, I'm not glazing, no glazing. No glazing, right? no glazing, no glazing. All right, he could work on his GPA a little bit more, but, hey, it's all right there, it's all right there. So true. Let's go lift. Feeling like I should have been feeling something. Lately I've been putting it off to see if you'd come back crawling, the floor is falling. All right, so since we got four, we're gonna drop a 165 because I'm weak and we wanna make sure we hit the higher rep range. I feel like four is a little too low, so five plus is where we really wanna sit at, is really where we want to sit at, so. and then drops it to 135. Alright bro, I don't know, but bench does not feel good today. Alright, so the idea with the incline fly press is to get a real deep stretch at the bottom and a big squeeze at the top. So we're doing like 12 to 15. Uh, I think we're doing like 45, 50, so that's basically it. We're gonna do three or four sets of these and then scoot on. So don't you hold me If you don't wanna know me You gotta grab one more. So don't you oh. leave Let's me go. Oh. 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 Yeah. Sure. Thanks, James. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so since I did push downs last time on arm day, we're gonna do push downs, but then to change it up, we're gonna do some more uh, overhead things, like skull crushers, kind of things like that, to target that part of your tricep down here. So we're gonna do rope behind the head, over, and then we're gonna do skull crushers, and then we'll probably get out of here. So, yeah.
Okay, so some bad news. I broke my tripod trying to do skull crushers, so that's why you didn't see them. I just put too much weight on there, and I didn't really think it was gonna be too heavy. So I dropped it, because I was like, oh, that's too heavy, I need to drop, like, drop some weight, but I dropped it on the ground, and it destroyed my tripod. So, it's broken. Gotta buy a new tripod, but, you know, we got the, we got the workout film, so that worked out. Uh, right now, we're eating this panini. They have them at like the little snack shack store at our at NGU. You know, it's not the greatest macros in like fats at least. Uh, there's a, probably too many fats, but I haven't eaten a lot today, so it's okay. It's not gonna be like the end of the world. Um, there's, I think there's 41 grams of protein in it though, so that's good. And then, yeah, we're gonna edit this video and we're gonna do some schoolwork now, but that's basically the gist of my day. I got some Young Life stuff to do later tonight. We're gonna hang out with the boys, eat some dinner, all that good stuff. All right, so to finish this video off, I just wanted to take some time to pray. So if you've enjoyed the video and you don't really think you wanna do this, that's okay. Um, you know, I'm not gonna beg you guys to sit here and pray with me, but for you guys that might need to take some time to talk with God and wanna do that with somebody or just be able to like, you know, have something to pray about you know maybe you're not sure how to pray or you need help with that um we're just gonna pray we're just gonna talk to god and you know we're gonna give our time to jesus and spend some time with them so i don't know how long this is gonna take you know you can dip out now you can stay i just want to say thank you for watching if you have watched and you're gonna leave and if you're gonna stay thank you for staying um but yeah this is gonna be some time to pray and all right let's do it Dear Lord, thank you for today, God. Thank you that I got to work out. <clears throat> thank you for keeping me injury free. Lord, when I messed up my skull crusher, I just want to say thank you that my camera didn't break, but it was, and I didn't hurt myself, but it was just the tripod. Father, thank you for these people that are sitting here across this screen. Lord, I am so thankful for each and every person that watches these videos. And Lord, I just, I want to continue to make these, Lord, for your glory and to just, uh, you know, glorify your name. And, you know, let people know who you are, Jesus. Thank you that you are a loving God. Lord, I just pray for the person across the screen, Lord, that whatever they're going through, that they can know that they can put their faith and trust in you, Jesus, and that you will help them through it, Lord. Um, I just want to speak the name of Jesus over them, Lord. I just pray over them, Father. I just pray your peace, Lord Jesus. I ask Holy Spirit that you just live inside of them, Father, if they are willing to accept you. Lord, I just pray the Holy Spirit over their house, over where they're living, Lord. I just speak your name, Jesus. I just praise you, Father. I thank you that I can just pray to you at any time and just feel your love, Lord Jesus. God, I thank you for this time. I just pray that, Lord, any hardships, any struggles that they're going through, that you'll just be with them. And Lord, I pray that even in the good times that we won't forget you, God, that we'll continue to thank you for what you're doing in our lives and that we'll just remain faithful to you, Jesus. God, thank you for today. Thank you for everything that you've been doing for me. Lord, I just pray you'll just, uh, you know, continue to move throughout all of our lives, Lord Jesus. And I pray that you'll just help us to remain steadfast and to focus on you, God. Lord, I pray that you are first in our hearts and that any idols in our heart, any anything that we're putting before you, thinking about more than you, I pray that you'll just cast them out, Lord, in Jesus' name and that we will put our focus on you. Jesus, thank you for today, and I just thank you for this time. Thank you for your word, and thank you that I can read it and learn more about you, God, and discover who you are and just grow closer to you, Lord God. Thank you that you are always here and an ever-present help, Lord. I love you, Father, and I just pray safety over my viewers. I pray safety over me. I just thank you for today, Lord, and I just love you, God. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And, um... Thanks for praying with me if you did. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, Jesus loves you.